this is Jamie Lee, independent distributor with Gel Moment Nail Polish. Today I'm going to show you how to create this really cute acorn accent nail. Um, so we're going to start out here with two coats of In The Mood. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Coffee House to start the base of our acorn. Uh, it's a pretty simple shape. Um, it's like a U shape. So if you paint a U on, no, not the full width of your nail, okay, something like that. And then you can fill in the top part here and fill down with the coffee house polish. Okay, the acorn has a little tiny um, sharp part at the bottom usually, so you can just add a small little line. And um, to get that little tiny line, just press really lightly on your brush. The, um, the lighter you push on your brush, the thinner the line you will get. So it's a lot about controlling the pressure on your brush to get the results that you want. All right, so that's a pretty good shape. I'm going to go ahead and cure it, and then I'm going to add some more detail. Let's talk about brush care for a minute. Uh, sometimes with your Jill Moment brushes, you get a little bit of a fraying. Some of the, the bristles will move away from the rest. I like to go with a little scissor and just give it a little bit of a haircut. Just trim off some of those ones that don't want to stay in with the rest of the brush anymore. And this way your brush is still usable for nail art. You don't have to get a new one, um, but it will be a little more useful for you. I'm going to go in now with some Choco Lala, which is our dark sparkly brown. And I'm going to put a little bit of that right at the top edge here, just straight across. This is going to be the shadow underneath the cap that we're going to create with our shimmer powder. I just like to put a little bit in right underneath that top edge there. And then if you'd like, you can pull a little bit of that Chocolala also down the left-hand side. Follow the shape of your U. That gives it a little bit of shadowing on this side. And then you can clean your brush in a little bit of rubbing alcohol or wipe it on a paper towel. And then pick up a little bit of In The Mood. That, again, that's a background color. And you can apply it to the right hand side and give the acorn a little bit of highlight on this side. And it just gives it a little bit of depth. I think it looks nice. And then if you'd like to feather that into some more coffee house in the center, you can get a nice transition between the Chocolala side and the In The Mood side. Okay, so just kind of clean up any little areas here that you want and then go ahead and cure in your gel moment lamp for 45 seconds. Next step, we're going to apply some Clearly Frisky to the area right above the acorn. And this is going to become the cap of our acorn. So we just take a little Clearly Frisky on the brush and we just run a small amount up along the top of the acorn. I know it's a little hard to see because it is clear, but just go easy and steady. I, I hook the Clearly Frisky a little bit down over the cap and you can make it a little bit wider of a line right above the middle of the acorn and then a little bit skinnier down on the sides. Okay, so then you take a look, you see if you like the way the placement of the clearly frisky looks and when you're happy you're going to apply some shimmer powder okay so this is number three incomparable comes in this cute little pot of glitter and has a little scoop so all you're going to do is take a little scoop of the shimmer powder and you're going to just sprinkle it right over the area where you put the clearly frisky I know I covered the whole thing, but it will only stick to the area where the clear and frisky is right now. Leave the extra on there for now. Don't try and brush anything off while the clearly frisky is wet. And then cure in your gel moment lamp for 45 seconds. And we're back. And it looks like there's a lot of shimmer powder left over 
All I do to get rid of the excess is take a little puffy brush, maybe like an old makeup brush that you have laying around, and just brush the extra off. And you can see now that the shimmer only stuck to where the clearly frisky was put. So that looks super cute. I'm gonna just do two little final steps and then put a little matter effect on top of the, um, the acorn. The first step I'm going to do is just dip into a little tiny bit of chocolala and give a little curving line right at the top of the acorn. Okay, just to give it its little stem. And then I'm gonna clean my brush very quickly and take a small dab of In The Mood. And just put a small comma shape right on the right hand side of the acorn just to give it a little highlight again on this side. See, that's just a little tiny comma shape there. So, okay, we're fully cured. And now I'm going to take a small amount of matter effect and I'm just going to paint that right on top of the bottom of the acorn because I think it looks a little bit better. It's a nice contrast with the shimmer when it is a matte finish. So just be careful as you're pulling down onto this little point of your acorn. And once it is covered with the matter effect, do a full cure, 45 seconds in your gel moment LED lamp. Okay, and there you have it. A super cute acorn accent nail using gel moment products, coffee house, chocolala, in the mood, clearly frisky, matter effect, and shimmer number three comparable. I hope you try this out. It's a really fun fall look. This is Jamie Lee, independent distributor with Gel Moment Nail Polish.